I'm gonna like your sport so fucking hard. I'm gonna fucking love your sport. <laughs> I'm gonna watch every fucking game. I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna it. have my fucking wedding at a fucking NWHO hockey game. <laughs> I feel like Erica gets off the ice. She lights up a cigar. A cigar and she's a fucking like, Miller Lite. Yeah, man. That, that, that shit that she's going through, I feel like that's going to be like her lasting legacy. Like when it all was said and done. Uh, I think she's going to start a hockey league. You think so? I think right now, what I would do if I were her, I would get two teams. I would just start with two teams. I would go get like all the girls she's cool with. Find a couple, you know, how, how many people are on a hockey team? 12, 15? 20 something. Really? Yeah, wow. 20, I think okay. 22, 24. Yeah, that makes more sense. I'm thinking about basketball. All right, so you go get like 40 girls, come up with two teams. 20, yeah, I think 22 players, two goalies. And you just start with that, and you do like a Barstool Classic, and you have those two teams play each other, and you get like all of us in the stands, and you have a fucking bangerang event where all of a sudden like the most fun sporting event you've ever been to, ironically, somehow is women's hockey. <laughs> and you turn it into an internet event and a social media event, and you become like this fucking thing where it's like, hey, girls, you can go play for like the NWHL, which is like no fun and doesn't like actually support women and da 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 da, or come over here and have a goddamn party. Why does it not support women? So they like so Erica. Uh, I mean, Erica has been like the number one supporter of women's hockey, right? And the NWHL, like the champion of of all the girls, plays the sport herself. Like she's the CEO of a company, and then in her off time plays the sport, endorses the sport, supports the sport, and of course, all like the other journalists and writers and people who deal with women's hockey come after her and Barstool. Deadspin calls her evil. We're, of course, white supremacists, the whole nine. And then the NWHL puts out a statement. And they have a chance to back, like, the only person who has ever supported the NWHL. And really, ever. I mean, I didn't even know that existed. I didn't even See, know I know it existed because I've, I've, I've coached the girls. Yeah, I didn't even I've, know. I've coached them up. Hillary Knight. I, right, like right. The, when the Boston Pride won, I forget the name of their cup. I was fucking supposed to go out with a trophy that night. I right. didn't get too drunk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, like... We've been with the NWHL for not like you know not the league itself not with any in any official capacity but like with with Hillary Knight Jillian Dempsey mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm I I've like I'm friendly with them I'm friends with Babs who mm -hmm. now plays for the Riveters and it is it's just weird gatekeeping yeah whether or not someone can be a fan of your sport like why, why do you have to make it official so the statement? NWHL puts out the statement being like we. Without naming her name, was like, like fuck off, Erica Nardini, being like, we can't, we don't endorse any any media company who will talk about reporters or yeah, it said, it said like, I think it's like under no circumstance would it be appropriate to call out reporters. Oh, really? Like under no uh, circumstance. Let, let's, do, let's do the Bill Burr here. You under, know, like yeah. under <laughs> you can't ever. Right. <laughs> the no reason ever. Under. I could come up with some fucking reasons, and one of them is right fucking now. What's happening? Calling a, a, a girl, a, calling a woman evil, is fucking insane. Certain words are reserved for certain things. You can't call us racists and white supremacists. You can't call her evil. You can't say open race. You can't like these things are not even beginning to approach appropriate, and absolutely are a warrant like a uh, response or calling someone out or basically in this case just defending herself it's like she can't speak up and defend herself and you have to put out a statement like condemning her it is oh, that it, this is a problem we've dealt with with barstool forever i feel like and it, it does have it changes a bit now that we are kind of like the big boy in the schoolyard yeah we're like for you know 10 years ago we were always fighting with people who were trying to keep us down right now we're up and it does there is I will admit that there is sometimes a, 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 I know you are pro, like, if you come at me, I'm going to come at yeah. you. Which is completely fair. 100, 200% fair. I, there is, like, there is definitely an element of punching down to it now, because it's like, you're a fucking, you're a nobody, I can squish you. I'm I'm more of the, like, I don't fucking, yeah, okay, I'm a white supremacist, whatever you say. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I do like that there still is the fire to it. But the, just the fact that fucking people think like like reporters like you're a reporter with I don't know what kind of following you have but I'm sure there's I mean if you're a, something if you're focusing on like women's hockey we can all guarantee you it's have, like probably, 200 followers by like by the way I like like having I like the girls I, the the women I fucking whatever I call them girls and guys fucking deal with it um, <laughs> the uh, like I, I like the girls I have a good time with the girls they're actually fucking really really good I know like all women's mm -hmm. sports gets like the bashing they're like 
I've it doesn't really I will say this too it doesn't really play on Twitter they're like it does look a little slower because it's in the midst of hot, like mm-hmm. NHL highlights live but when like- you're fucking on the bench do fucking play people can play Play fucking like, hockey. It's always like hockey live is like we won, I have we, to witness it. We won the championship, no big deal. Well, um, but the the idea that you can just say things to your like into the ether, and then like get mad when look, someone look responds. At, look at to Johnny, it head coach. Is oh there you have look it. Good feel Fucking. good, coach. Good. <laughs> I'll be I will be straight up honest. That looks like an entirely different human. <laughs> that, I did not know that was John. That is like who is that picture that who's that person that John tweeted out? <laughs> oh, it's him. Me. That's me. Right? It's that, John. When we went on to coach, we won that game. Fucking looked awesome. Um, but anyway, the uh, yeah, I look a lot different. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my championship T-shirt there. Yeah. Um, but what I'm saying is this: like, I don't understand why people think they can say something about someone and then get mad when they reply. They reply. To like, like, I didn't fucking... She I don't even know who you are. You came anything. at me. I fucking acknowledged you. Don't fuck. Keep my name out of your mouth if you don't want me to fucking talk about you. It's keep my name out of your mouth insane. if you don't want me to fucking screenshot what you said about me and respond to it. Right. It's fucking insane. Like, I'm just that proving your hypocrisy by replying, like, in my own right. I'm not going out of my way. I'm not picking a fight. I'm just replying to what you said, and you don't like the fact that, like, my answer is fucking, like, owning the argument. You right. know what I mean? Like, oh, I just, I just fucking blew you out of the water, and that's... A, and her her major point, her main point is is so key. Like the NWHL, uh, uh, the writers and all the fans, whoever, if they don't like her, like they have every right to say whatever they want. The actual league coming out, and like the, you are not in in the position you are you do not have the luxury of of alienating the only like real platform that's giving you true attention. You know. Like, Eric is the only person who can make the, the needle move for the NWHL. That's just a fact. Yeah, and they are, I will give them this, they are on NBC Sports this year. Okay. So, but like, they, are on but the, I mean, they are on the channel the NHL's on. But, you know, I, I would venture to guess there's not a, another person in the field that is talking about them that people really, for sure. like, rally around. Like, you are not in any position, or, and you don't have to turn your back on her at all. Like, they could have just put out a statement being like, we support anybody who supports us, and that's it. Like, or, or just like, if you want to watch a fucking sport, you can watch a sport. Or, or by the way, like, you don't have to put out a, can, a, a statement know, at all. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. if the, imagine the NHL. Like, we got, we got to put out a statement here. We don't like this person watching our fucking games. Suck my fucking little dick, bro. There were tweets saying that Erica should be fired by Barstool because and, and of what? Because of like this, this. And I don't, that, I literally almost just flipped this table. And and that um. All leagues, men, male, and female, should band together and ban barstool sports. I was like, what does that even mean? Like, we don't ever have access to any of these sports, so, like, ban us from, like, talking about you? What does that even – ban us from what? The, uh, the fucking absolute audacity and the insane amount of fucking misplaced self-confidence and self-worth you have to have to be like, nah, they can't watch my sport. Fuck off. Yeah. I'm going to become the biggest NWHL fan ever. <laughs> fucking Boston Pride. Let's fucking go. Let's, I'm fucking jacked up for the yeah, Boston Pride this I wanna, year. I want to go become a true white supremacist <laughs> and then wave the flag of the NHL, of the NWHL. You know what I mean? Be like, yep, just finished up burning my cross, and now I'm going to watch, like, the New York, uh, you know, Ice Raiders, whatever the fuck they are. I mean, Where let's go. I sign up? White supremacy. Yeah. I'm here for the white supremacy meeting. <laughs> I'm here for the white supremacy. Anybody? Me, I'm just doing this out of spite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a white supremacist. Give me the, give me the fucking Danny the Vineyard hood. tattoo so I can go fucking shirtless at a Rosie Riveters game. You fucking assholes. <laughs> I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit in the stands of the NWHL with all of the 16 people, and I'm gonna be tying nooses, <laughs> and I'm just gonna be cheering them on. Yep, that's right, NWHL. <laughs> the white supremacy fans are here. And all you had to do was just let Eric and Nardini enjoy it. And instead you got me. <laughs> yeah. How about that? I'm going to do that. I'm going to become the biggest NWHL fan. So you could have had Eric and instead you got this scumbag. <laughs> I am neither a white supremacist, a racist, or an NWH fan, NWHL fan. I'm becoming no. all three out of spite. No. <laughs> we started this show. We're going to do things. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're doing it. First up, oh, racism. We're, oh, we're doing it. <laughs> we're fucking doing it. The NWHL, you done fucked up. <laughs> yeah. We're joining a motorcycle gang. Get a bunch of fucking 
fucking infected tattoos and then go watch women's hockey. <laughs> <laughs> women's hockey. If you ever told me that women's again, hockey, you're, this fired you're up. making me make jokes about it. I fucking like the women who play this sport, but if you don't want me, guess who you're getting? It's me. <laughs> You chose poorly, I mean, like NWHL. Danny, Danny Quaid fucking walking in the Marbo hockey rink. Hello, girls! I'm back! <laughs> Man. <sighs> Sorry, you made your choice. You made your fucking choice. You, you can't like my sport. <laughs> you indie fucking dickheads. I'm gonna like the I'm gonna like your sport so fucking hard. I'm gonna fucking love your sport. <laughs> I'm gonna watch every fucking game. I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna have my fucking wedding at a fucking NWHO hockey game. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I'm gonna go get a fucking I'm gonna be, I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fucking become a woman. Gonna I'm gonna <laughs> join the NWHL. I'm gonna transition and join the ice what'd you say, the Rosie Riveters or some shit? I'm joining the club. It's, it's I think it's the New York Riveters. Let's Rosie go. The Riveter. It is fucking Let's fucking do it. I'm gonna it. go fucking in vitro fertilization, make sure I have a daughter, and teach her to play hockey. You know just so she can be in the NWHL. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to an NWHL game. I'm going to tattoo game. that daughter with a fucking birth on her forehead. <laughs> <laughs> you, some girls, get, some babies get their ears pierced. Mine's getting a fucking tattoo on her forehead. So when she gets good, you know where she came from. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm going to do I'm going to go to the NWHL game. I'm going to, I'm going to run out on the ice. I'm going to just chop my dick off right then and there. It's going to be like, what's that guy? Uh, uh, Macharchuk, the guy who got his fucking nice. Uh -huh. Clint Marchuk. Yeah, Marchuk. look at you, Kevin. Just blood all over the ice. And I'm going to stand there. No dick being like, I love the NWHL. It is. I'm going to look at their fucking commissioner right in the face. I'm going to say, you did this. You did this. All you had to do was let Erica like your sport. And you didn't. So now I chop my dick off at the middle of the fucking All-Star game. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Like, all that happened was fucking Babs came on a podcast. Crazy. Babs Babs played on our fucking, on the Barstool hockey team in the fucking, fucking Classic. pond hockey tournament. Yep. Yo, and I said to Erica, I was like, but, but like, surely everybody's, like, on your side. Like, the people are on your side. She's like, oh, on contr oh, contraire. Like, people who I thought were, like, my friends are, like, either not speaking up or, like, openly, like, against me. And I'm like, wow. Because that's the one thing I thought was going to happen. Like, Babs and uh, I think Rebecca Russo is her name. Like, those girls are, like, having her back. But I thought most girls would be like, wait a minute. Like, you know, I don't even know her all that well. But, like, she's a fucking boss on and off the ice. She's great. You know, but no, I guess not. So, watch out when there's the NWHL. That's, like, the Nardini Women's Hockey League. And then... And then you're fucked, bro. Watch out when fucking Savannah Feidelberg starts dangling on you, fucking bitch Savannah. ass. And, and part of her fucking. Savannah the Savage. Part of her fucking celebration is headbutting you with her barstool tattooed forehead. She's going to be the girl on, on the ice. Like, eat my box. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're already laughing at one of the best clips of our shows. Now it's time for you to watch the full episode. So click here, here, subscribe to the full KFC radio show. That you can one watch right there. entire episodes. Right here, you want more clips? Click here. Subscribe to both of them. Hit the, hit the button, clip. too. Hit the bell. Hit the bell hit. and the button, and then the comment below. Leave comments who else you think we should interview. And, and how I'm funnier than John. Maybe. <laughs>